So, you want to be a brawler This weapon got a fancy new look and it's a ton of fun. I'm Chara, a Splatoon content creator and competitive player who picked up Brella the literal hour it came out in tournament and have played it for over five years. Today I want to break down the basics of the weapon so you could become a Brella main and if you enjoy this you can check out my own channel to see more about the weapon. Let's get started. Brella is a fairly short range weapon with solid mobility and high damage potential. The weapon fires like a shotgun where it has pellets that do small damage. By hitting closer to the center you can hit more pellets and therefore be dealing more damage per shot. Being close can also make the damage better and allows you to combo with the shield for a potential one-shot combo. You can use the shield by holding ZR right after a shot in which you very quickly pull up a shield that can do small damage and knockback. Primarily, this shield is used to protect yourself and has an entire 500 HP as well as paints your feet which can be rather useful. However, don't take the 500 HP to mind too much as a lot of weapons have different damage multipliers. For example, you can take more than 500 HP worth of damage from stuff like shooters or duelies, but you can actually take less of it from something like a blaster or a charger. And there's also weapons that can hit around it like sloshers and, well, once again, blasters. If your shield breaks, you'll be stunned for a little while and it'll take a long time to regenerate. You can be careful and watch the HP by seeing how much of the opponent's ink is on the shield. The more of it, the more damage you've taken. On the bright side though, whenever your shield isn't up, it regenerates its health immediately and incredibly quickly. This means you're encouraged to shield for a little bit, then drop the shield and either swim around immediately, shoot, or combine either of those with a jump to heal your shield health a bit, get some damage off, and pull it back up to protect yourself, allowing you to stall and take fights at your own pace. Last thing to note for the shield is if you hold it out for three seconds, it'll launch it, which while it does give you double the HP resistance, meaning it can take more damage, it also kind of removes the shield and it goes way too fast to keep up with easily. So unless if it's a very specific situation where you can follow the shield, I wouldn't recommend launching it that much. So before I get into the strengths, this weapon has a few things to keep in mind. The main thing you'll notice right away is the ink efficiency. Both the shots and shielding take massive amounts of ink, and there's a slight delay before you can recover ink after shielding, though that doesn't apply to shooting. Since Brella likes to stall a lot with its shield, it uses a ton of ink for even a simple 1v1. So try to be close to full ink tank before taking a fight, and be super careful about using your sub weapon. Its second big issue is double teaming. Brella can only shield one side, and when you're holding the shield, you can only turn it very slowly. And because this weapon needs multiple shots to kill, it means it's really hard to fight two opponents coming at you from multiple angles, even more than most weapons. The last thing to note is this weapon has specific matchups such as blasters or chargers, where shielding can be really unreliable because they'll either break it easily from a safe distance or be able to shoot around Against it. these weapons, stuff like closing the gaps or avoiding where they patrol is incredibly important in a game. Don't worry though, this weapon has a lot of strengths. First of all, this shield gives you an amazing time stalling or fighting weapons, even against multiple opponents if they're coming from the same spot, you can take a lot of damage, which means it's great for protecting yourself and even pairing with teammates in fights. On top of that, the weapon is still fairly mobile, which can mean it could be great at dealing with stuff like squid roll or dually dodge rolls by waiting out the roll and shooting afterward. And finally, the weapon is fairly well-rounded. It has a solid paint and special output. It doesn't really do anything super poorly, so you can mix in a lot of different playstyles for both more supportive or aggressive players. Most weapons in Splatoon have a fairly basic weapon for their default one. But the default Brella is still pretty complicated. Same for most of the class, which can make it hard to get into. It takes a lot of time to get used to the mechanics of the weapon and especially using your shield properly, but give it time. This weapon is so much fun once you get used to it and there's so many different ways that you can play it, which I think is really nice. I hope this guide helps you give Brella a chance. Thank you so much to Squidman for having me on here. And if you want to see more about Brella, check out my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.